Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today we want to talk about how you can edit your video to the music and I want to show you a couple of tips and tricks how to make your videos feel more cohesive and make them sync nicely with the music so everything is perfectly in tune. Before we get started, I recommend choosing really good music obviously. That's why today's video is brought to you by my friends over at Epidemic Sound. I'll be using their tracks to illustrate the techniques. They are a top-notch music licensing platform and a place where I like to go to find tracks for my videos. The best thing is you can try their service for free for an entire month with absolutely no strings attached. So just make sure you check them out below. Without further ado, let's jump on my computer and let's dive right into it. I usually don't pick one song right from the beginning and edit the entire video to it. Instead, I like to choose a song that matches the broader theme of music that I have in mind for the video. Then I find three to four similar ones that I like as well. So after I've chosen a few potential candidates, I like to loosely assemble the video clips and then I drop three to four tracks that I chose. I like to mute them and replay them one by one. And then I like to scrub through the audio until I found a suitable candidate. And the good thing is I can still move things around and I'm not wasting time in case I change my mind. So make sure you don't pick a winner straight away, stay flexible. Next tip is you gotta perform a little surgery sometimes. The interesting parts in a song are typically located at the beginning, the middle and the end of the song. The problem is your video will not fit the structure perfectly all the time, but you can add a couple of modifications to make it fit a lot better. And there are a couple of ways to pull that off very easily, which I'll outline in a second. Firstly, you need to identify the pattern of the song by looking at the waveform, which is basically a visual representation of the sound. Markers are a very useful tool to highlight where you can find a really interesting part in your song. In Premiere Pro, you can place them by just hitting M on the keyboard and they help you to highlight important changes in the song and in general, important parts of the video. As a rule of thumb, if the song changes the music, then your visuals should change pacing also. So in general, I like to shorten a song to the relevant section because people's attention span is incredibly short. That's why in general, I like to scrap the beginning and often skip right to the part where the action starts to happen and the beat drops. And how can you identify such a section where this happens? It's pretty easy. All you gotta do is find these little spikes and dips and make the cut right there, sweet. You can use the same technique to shorten a song right in the middle. Just repeat the step at the section where you want the song to continue and then add a little crossfade transition in the middle and there you go. Hey, if you found value in anything that I've said so far, can you hit the like button? Do it just for the algorithm, that would really make my day. Next up, let's speak about customizing the patterns of the song. I often have the situation where I might like vocals at a particular part of the song, but they're just too much overall or they don't fit at all at another part. But not a problem at all. You can use the techniques that I had described before to blend in an instrumental and vocal version of the song and not to have the lyrics present all the time. As you can see here, I have the part that I want to cut out highlighted in pink and that way I can create a custom version of the song. Epidemic Sound even takes that a step further and enables you to download individual stems of the song. Stems are basically like individual components of the audio track, like bass line, hi-hat, vocals, and so on. And that's a really cool feature because it allows you room for even further customization. So what I like to do is, so I can drop three to four audio elements of the identical song below the video, for example, and then I can take away a particular element if I don't like it. And that's pretty sweet overall. 
We talked about markers and a lot of people like to place markers to follow the beat and apply their cuts in a certain way. And that's a very useful and fast technique to get editing done very quickly that sometimes it's not good to be too predictive and too repetitive. It is totally fine to be offbeat sometimes. You can see that technique being used in music videos quite a lot deliberately and the key here is not to be too predictable. So give it a try and think outside of the box sometimes. Massive thanks for Epidemic Sound for sponsoring this video and as I said, you can try their services for an entire month totally free of charge. Just make sure you follow my link below the video. If you upload videos on YouTube, their service starts at 12 and a half US. Please let me know in the comments in case I've missed anything. And as always, I hope you have a good day and I'll catch you on my next video.